It's just it's people. It's a people person job. No matter who the person is, what relationship you got with them, that's it. I mean, it's like, it's like talking to a guy, you know, the, your mentors, talking to the managers, talking to contractors, talking to the insurers, talking to everybody. It's just a people person job. And it's not that hard. Like, I, you know, I wasn't always... I would never. I was always the guy behind the camera. Like before, I was in claims. I was a TV. I was in TV production behind the camera. You know, I'm like running the camera or doing the teleprompter or whatever. I didn't want to be in front of the camera. Heck no. But here I am. Yeah, I don't like being in front of the camera much. Either, but, <laughs> but I mean, it's like t- talking to insurance is almost like making sales calls, right? Like you're making a cold call. The first time you like the first claims you ever get. And you're like, you got 40 claims and you got to call everybody and say, hi, my name is Matt. I'm from State Farm, blah, blah, blah. People, they're, they, they're looking for help from you. And if you don't know anything, or you're like uncertain or scared or whatever, that's blood in the water. I mean, they, you're, you know, people can sense that, right? So you, you build up confidence with it. And then after a while, it becomes really, really easy to talk to everybody. Yeah, it's repetition, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah you All this do- stuff. You got to do it over and over and over and over again. We spend a whole day just writing scripts. And I mean, it's like being in fifth grade again, where you, everybody has to get up in front of the classroom. Hi, I'm Guy Grand. And, yeah. You know, they, right. And role play. It's another thing with Voss is we try to get you through those first few claims and that fear of talking to the insured yeah. while you're here. Oh, man. So when you get out there, it just gets easier and easier and easier. And, you know, pretty soon you, you get your, your spiel of what you say down after 20 or 30 claims. It just, it's automatic what you say when you're making contact, what you say when you're closing the claim, all of that. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, you, you know, you, you, you start to learn people's body language, which is why, this is one of the reasons why I was close claims on site, is that I can, I can watch a person as I'm explaining the estimate to them and my scope and everything. If they're like... You know, when you're on the phone, they're like, yeah, uh-huh, mm-hmm. yeah, that sounds good. Okay, fine, sure, whatever. Yeah, just send me the paperwork, whatever. But when you watch them in person, that same person saying the same thing, they're like, they have their hand over their mouth, right? And they got their arms like crossed like this and their feet are crossed. And they're like, you know, they have some body language that says they hear what I'm saying, but they're not agreeing with it or they don't understand it. I'm going to stop and say, you know, is there, anything, is there anything you have a question on about this? You know, is there something that, that doesn't make sense that I can explain further for you? Or, you know, right? It's a kind of, I can prompt them a little bit instead of just being like, okay, well, you know, you can make the check in seven to ten days. Bye. You know, I hang up. And then the first thing they do is they hang up with you, and then they call their agent and say, my adjuster was just here, and he, I don't, he's, he's not going to give me all the money, and I don't know how I'm supposed to get my roof down with half the money, and blah, blah, blah. He didn't hear the depreciation part, right? But if I see that person in person, and they're talking about, and I'm, I'm explaining the depreciation and they're like, yeah, that makes sense. And they're shaking their head no, right? I'm like, okay, well, let's talk about depreciation a little bit so you understand you know, how this is paid out, right? So you start to build up experience with that kind of thing and the job gets easier and easier. And I hesitate to call it an easy job because it's not easy, but it's not like super hard. I mean, it's not, like I said, we're not, we're not doing brain surgery. We're crying out loud. We're just dealing with people and trying to help them, right? Hey, hey. Mr. Insured, how's it going? It's going great today. How are you doing? <laughs> this is actually Guy Grand from Veteran Adjusting School. So you want to learn claims from the most experienced veteran adjusters, but you can't find anybody who will let you ride along with them? Then let me tell you about Adjuster TV Plus. Developed by Adjuster TV and its industry partners, including the high-end training center Veterans Adjusting School in Arizona, Adjuster TV Plus is a growing library of in-depth training videos created just for independent adjusters. Learn scoping and estimating from professional trainers and adjusters. Learn how to handle customer interactions with confidence. Learn the ins and outs of scoping and estimating exterior hail claims. And coming soon, detailed videos about how to handle smoke, ice dam, water claims, and auto claims. Adjuster TV Plus also features the very best of three years of Adjuster TV's YouTube videos, ad-free. Educational, entertaining, and inspiring. Come ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus.